Hello everyone. This is episode number 15 of Ask Madhav. My name is Siddharth, and to answer your queries, we have the CEO of Realme India, Madhav Sid. Madhav, how's it going? It's great. Thank you very much. Shall we start with the questions then? I think let's let's get straight to the point. First question for the day: Why is Realme UI update rolling out so slow? Firstly, we promised Realme UI for Realme 3 Pro. and realme xt to start rolling out in the month of january and we did achieve that what i want our users to understand is that this is not just an os or an android update we are shifting devices from color os 6 to realme ui and from android 9 to android 10 we need to be extremely careful when we do such migration to ensure our user experience is not compromised the update timeline shared by us is the first wave of rollout and is then gradually Roll to all as for any big releases. All my friends who are in the world of IT industry totally relate to it as being a completely normal process. I can say each one of Realme Three Pro and Realme XT user will get Realme UI update, and I am sure you all gonna enjoy it. Also, this arrangement will be done for other devices too, which will get a Realme UI update soon. So don't worry, guys. Realme UI will be coming to the devices we have promised and given timelines for. Great. I hope user will understand this. Next question: Why some features like Dock Vault, Music Party, and So Loop app are absent in Realme UI? Realme UI has started rolling out with Realme 3 Pro and Realme XT, as I said before, in the month of January, and this is the first build. We are assured our team is working on bringing some really cool features to Realme UI. I can tell you guys that Dock Vault and So Loop app. are already under work and you will be able to enjoy it on your realme devices very soon great news for users next question again about realme ui so there are a lot of bugs in realme ui when are we going to solve them as i mentioned earlier this is the first build of realme ui Our team is taking into constant feedback on it and we have already geared ourselves to solve it as soon as possible please feel free to write down your feedback and share it with us we will take it all under consideration all right looking forward to that next one why always on display an edge lighting is not supported in realme 3 pro features like always on display and edge lighting are currently supported for amoled display only Realme 3 Pro comes with an LCD panel and the primary reason to not bring this feature to LCD is the power consumption. We don't want to give an extra feature and make the user experience poor. I understand these features are really cool but the battery performance and the safety is also an important aspect which we cannot ignore. Well that's very good. Why is there a difference between Indonesia Realme C3 and Indian Realme C3? We introduced the C series to empower the entry level segment users with features that belong to a segment higher to it. So whenever we introduce a product under C series in India, we pay utmost attention to the pricing of the product as how much more we can pack in the device at the said price point. While I see a lot of users excited for a triple camera Realme smartphone which is launched in Indonesia, stay tuned guys, we'll surely surprise you guys very soon. All right, looking forward to your surprise then. Next one, interesting question. Is there a possibility of launching an in-ear version of Realme Buds Air? Wow. Realme Buds Air is one of our most innovative audio products. Talking about possibility for an in-ear version Why not? Realme is driven by user feedback and suggestions. Our product team conducts regular surveys and meetups to understand user needs. If a user wants something like this, we will surely consider it and bring you the best. Great. Thank you so much. Coming back to Realme C3, the first device in the world to powered by MediaTek Helio G70, we thought why not bring the chip makers to ask Madhav, ask them some questions and hear their thoughts. So for today's special episode, we have with us Managing Director of MediaTek India, Anku Jain. Anku, a warm welcome to Ask Madhav. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. How's it going? 
it's going great. I think it's a great day. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Madhav and Siddharth for welcoming me here. And, and, and also the rest of the Realty team is really exciting. And you know, you have power meet style. I can feel the power in the style here. Great. So if you guys are curious why we changed our seats, it's because it's Madhav who will be asking questions on your behalf today. Madhav, over to you. Welcome, Uncle. Thank you. And uh, today I'm going to ask you a few of the questions where our users are really want to understand for MediaTek. Okay. So let's start with the questions. Sure. Right. The first question from the user is, what makes MediaTek products stand apart when it comes to performance? MediaTek is the world's fourth largest global fabulous semiconductor company. And, uh, and it powers more than 1.5 billion devices a year. Our core businesses include mobile, home, and automotive. And our USP is that MediaTek products are built with humans in mind. Because we firmly believe that great technology should be available and accessible to all. And our vision is to make the world a more inclusive place where smart and connected is equal opportunity. MediaTek works with brands you love, and it gives the customers features rich, feature rich premium technology at affordable prices. And we constantly take consumer feedback into account and work towards making the chipset better in terms of speed, quality, safety, and security. I think it's great because I think we were the first one to launch MediaTek P70 devices as well at the same time. It's great to work with MediaTek. Sure. I should go ahead with this next question mm -hmm. from the user. Sure. What architectural difference MediaTek follows in making processors for smartphones? Okay, so MediaTek processors are more efficient because of the newer architecture. And that comes with our core palette technology, which helps to efficiently manage MediaTek's uh, multi-core technology and more intelligently and aims to create the best user experience possible every time you use it. Mm. Great. Thank you very much. Moving to the next question, what our user wants to understand is, what is the idea behind MediaTek G series? Uh, in MediaTek's uh, G series chipsets, the G stands for gaming. Uh, the G series was conceptualized with the aim of making every millisecond matter for the avid gaming enthusiast, delivering incredible in and intense gaming experience. So through, through wide ranging platform enhancements and, uh, and our innovative MediaTek hyper engine gaming technology, we have ensured that the entire mobile, uh, mobile is tuned to deliver intelligent prediction and faster sense response for rapid gameplay. Be uh, and along with, of course, the brilliant picture quality and longer gameplay. The G series features uh, an array of technologies that not only boosts the mobile gaming experience, it also lets the user enjoy premium camera features, connectivity, multimedia support, and along with leading AI uh, experience. I think it's a good news for the gamers because chipset makers are thinking for the gamers. It's a good news for them. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on with the next question from one of our users. Can you explain us how you classify the G series where we have the G90 series, G80 and the G70 at the same time? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have targeted a wide range of consumers with our G series chipsets, from the mid-tier to the premium category. So India is a very dynamic smartphone market and according to the survey research, uh, the domestic mobile gaming market is likely to cross USD $400 million by 2022. So that's really a huge volume. And all the three offerings that under the MediaTek Helio G series uh, offers superior features along with innovative MediaTek Hyper Engine, Hyper Engine game technology. And the, the MediaTek Helio G80 and G90 SoC is built on the 12 nanometer node and offers octa-core CPU with uh, two, uh, two times of uh, Cortex A75 cores, uh, ticking at two gigahertz, while the other six uh, uh, cores of Cortex A55 are running at 1.8 gigahertz. The G70 is practically the same, but with a slightly lower clock on the small cores. So instead of 1.8 gigahertz, the six uh, co Cortex A55 cores are running at 1.7. And the G70 and G80 chipsets share the same Mali G52 GPU, uh, which are clocked a bit differently. Uh, the G80 boasts, of, G80 boasts of 950 megahertz uh, GPU, while the G70 settles with 820 megahertz. Great. Again, good news for the gamers. Moving ahead with the next question. Can you please explain the difference between the G series, the P series, and the Dimensity series SOC? Uh, like we discussed earlier, the G series is, a focused on, is focused on enhanced gaming capabilities, even as the chipset also offers other superior features. 
and the MediaTek Helio P family is both nimble and efficient yet powerful, providing smartphone manufacturers with exciting platform options that encompass great features, incredible camera, uh, and impressive AI, and for fast 4G connectivity. Uh, for performance mainstream differentiation and also uh, segment leadership. And coming to the Dimensity series, that's the newer series that we have uh, of SOC. The MediaTek Dimensity 5G chipset family brings smart and fast together to power the world's uh, most capable 5G devices. So Dimensity represents a step towards a new era of mobility, the fifth dimension. Uh, and that helps to spur the industry innovation and let consumers unlock the possibilities of 5G connectivity. The Dimensity series offers uh, an unrivaled combination of connectivity, multimedia, AI, and imaging innovations for premium and flagship smartphones. Wow, that's great. We're moving ahead with the next question, and uh, that's on Realme C3. Realme C3 is the first smartphone powered by MediaTek Helios G70. Also, P70 was first launched with Realme 3. What is your view about the global debut with Realme? So, Madhav, in addition to what you said, uh, we also had, if you remember, the P60, Helio P60 chip, which powered the Realme phone. And uh, Realme was a pioneer uh, for us as, uh, for that as well. And so we are always excited to partner with Realme and look forward to many more such associations. Realme is indeed the first brand to launch Helio G70 globally. And the Realme C3 is the first smartphone to feature the Helio G70 chipset for Indian users. The C3 is focused on the new premium smartphone user who is also a gaming enthusiast. The device offers high-end features at competitive price points. Also, it looks like 70 is quite a lucky number for us when it comes to Realme. You know that Realme 3 was powered by P70, Helio P70, and also the C3 is being powered by Helio G70. So 70 is really lucky for us. And uh, we believe that Realme provides us a great platform for collaboration on an Indian as well as a global scale. And we plan on keeping the association strong going ahead. Going ahead. Great. It's good to hear that. I would like to ask a few more questions. And I hope you're not tired of answering <laughs> our users' questions, right? So one of the users really want to understand how C3 is good for gaming with the most popular games like PUBG. The Realme C3 is powered by, as you know, the Helio G70. And that chipset is specially geared towards the gaming, uh, uh, you know, gaming uh, enthusiast. So it has uh, uh, technologies like Hyper Engine Gaming Technology, which helps to give a very fluid uh, gaming experience to an end user. So even for a game like PUBG, it is a very nice, fluid uh, experience for the user. And I think he will really love it. That's great. Because a lot of gamers at 6 999 price points starting for C3, they are very much excited to understand that how C3 would be correlated with PUBG as well. Yeah, so that's you know where MediaTek technology comes in because you know we have a very high technology available for a very affordable device. So I think that's a very great combination that we have. Thank you very much for answering that. I, I hope the users have got what they wanted to know about it. Sure. All right, going on with the last question of the day. When we use the term AI processor, what difference does this make to a processor and how MediaTek is taking advantage of it? The AI processors enable smartphones to defy expectation and fundamentally change how we use our devices. So the main features of AI-powered chipset include intelligent imaging and enhanced photography. Wow. I have a personal question from my side. I believe AI has been over-abused. We see that every single SOC has been associated with AI or is been used for a marketing purpose or do you think it's a gimmick or is been over abused? Uh, definitely it's not a gimmick. Uh, it is something which is inherent part of the uh, chip design. And uh, as an example, you know, you have the face unlock feature, right? Now, face unlock really relies on the AI uh, capability of the chip uh, and, and the device. So if you see uh, phones which have good AI, they can actually have a very fast unlock which is a very useful feature. Uh, you know, if it is a slow, then it will be irritating for the user. So this is one example. Then you also have voice technology, right? And uh, very great imaging and things like stickers. Uh, you know, the, uh, the new users are very fond of using stickers. So those are all relying on AI. So it's really definitely a very important aspect of the phone. I completely agree with you because I think our first device, Realme 1, were, we ditched 
fingerprint sensor and we went with AI and face unlock. Yeah, right. So I think we completely believe in this AI technology. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Anko. And I think a lot of users have got their answers on the chipsets. Thank you once again, Mr. Anko, for joining us over here. Thanks for hosting me. Thank yes. you. Well, thank you so much, Anko, for joining us today. Thank you, Madha, for answering all the queries. I hope it was great for you guys to have a con conversation with us. That's it for today. Hope you like uh, the questions and, and the answers that we have given today. For more questions, you can go to Realme community or simply Ask Madhav.